Hi, welcome back to Resto House. This morning we've got this beautiful 67 11 window original velvet green paint bus. Um, it, uh, you, you know when, when a vehicle's been owned by some of the, the right people, uh, it was basically owned by Lee Pickering of Rusty Lee's um, Rock and Roll Beds. Um, and then Paul Irvin of Irv's VW Restoration. Um, when these boys have owned the buses, you know how, how particular they are and the quality of this just stands out a mile. So it was originally a California Roadrunner conversion, um, came in from the States and as you can see, the velvet green paint so single colour, which is quite rare, um, 11 window combi. It still wears its original paint, obviously polished through and fantastic patina where it's sunburnt. Uh, it wears all of its sort of scratches and dents and knocks, which a restored bus just obviously loses all of, all of that. Um, super solid, um, it, it runs a 1776 twin car blump, um, it had the gearbox, original gearbox was rebuilt um, by John Walklet and um, it has a taller third and fourth gear so will easily cruise at sort of 65, 70 all day long. Um, it's as we walk around, what I'll try to do first, before we look at the interior, um, which is mind blowing, I'm gonna do my normal sort of walk around. So you can see all the gutters are absolutely bang on. The only orange, if you like, is sunburnt, or polished through but there's no rot on the bus at all if we then come down to the front panel if you look along here again there's no rot it's just it's just beautiful charm that only an aged bus like this look, look at the the gnarly nose on it. it it's just you know and the bumpers i mean i i absolutely love a well painted bus well restored but there's nothing quite like you know you can see where it's had truck mirrors put on in the past um if you look down through you know, it's solid as a rock. It's running um, sort of like almost a, an off-road looking um, tire um, road, uh, road runners. If you look then, we come back through, I'll tell you what I didn't do. Let me go along by the bottoms of the windows so you can see. There's nothing to report on it, but as you know, I always like to show you where there could be anything. Battery tray, absolutely fine, but really lovely where it's it's obviously had a knock. You can see some in the engine hatch, and then look at that on the rear hatch. It's beautiful. Um, coming around this side, you can see the along the sills, along the um, Rear arches still got its California Roadrunner badge on there, and then when we open it up, you can see all the original salt and pepper trim. Um, it's got a nice wood rim steering wheel and a retro sounds stereo with some amazing um, speakers and amps as we go back through. But if you look at the important stuff, everything's original. The floor mats, the arches there, um, underneath the doors are still perfect. 
Same on the other side. Bottoms of the cargo doors are, are perfect. And then if we open up, this is just, takes you to a different level. So Nick at Air Terriers built this interior. Um, so it's still got all its original side panels, um, but he's built, it's, it's got a Rusty Lee rock and roll bed there. But then if you look at the curved cabinets and you've got cup holders and there's a cupboard on the top of that one, cup holder there and a cupboard there, headbanger cupboard up the top and two of the funkiest speakers I've ever seen. Um, they're 360 degree um, vintage speakers. There's some subs up there as well. Um, and then if you look on this side, I love the way the, the furniture looks really similar to, to furniture of that sort of period. So, um, but also if you look down the bottom of this cabinet, um, it almost looks like an old radiogram. But as you can see in the photographs, um, on those hoops, that pulls out and, um, and creates another sort of buddy seat. So you can have four people sat around inside. Um, so absolutely beautiful bus. Um, it won't hang around long. It's only 34 and a half, which I think is, it's probably too cheap, but that's what that's what the owner wants for it. Um, and the question is, you try finding another original paint bus in this sort of condition with such beautiful patina and an incredible um, running gear. Absolute blinding bus. So uh, please get in touch if you'd like to view it.